the jam. I didn't think it was going to be cool. I thought it was actually kind of weak. And then, like, it got stuck in my head, and here we are today. All right, I'm just cleaning this up a little bit. Um. Okay. Okay, so now you can see it. I told, like, last part of the video, I was putting this on. I'm going to touch it up a little bit. Um, not that I'm into putting on a lot of mascara, but I'm into putting on a lot of mascara. As long as you can get it off without pulling off your eyelashes. My, um, my trick to that is washing my eyes, like, seven times. I swear to God, I wash my eyes, like, seven times. But if I really can't get it off, I use a non-scented, gentle, um, lotion, and I rub it off. And it takes the mascara off, but that sometimes takes a very long time for me to get all my makeup off. Um, and yeah, that happens. Hey. Okay, so. Um, next is my face. Um, I told you I already put this on, and I'm going to put a very gentle lotion on this. Um, only because it's got like oats and stuff in it, and I'm trying to save. God save my eyebrow. Um, so I'm gonna put a little bit of that in my eyebrow first. Um, cause Lord knows that shit needs it. Um, and I, we're gonna come back to my eyes in a minute. Hopefully if I remember. <laughs> Actually, we can do that now. Um, I don't like a harsh, harsh ending to my makeup. Like, as you can see, you can see the colors fading. Um, cool. You can see the colors fading and stuff, but I like to have a little bit, I like it to either fade into another color up towards my brows, or for it to fade into, like, a gold, or, like, a, like, pinkish gold or something like that. So, I'm going to use this each one teach one shit from Victoria's Secret. It's, like, um, it's called Plum Passion, but it's, like, a pinkish gold. And I'm going to go right up under my brow and just drop a little bit there. And um, now that you have the lotion on, that's actually going to blend very nicely. So, yeah. And it's like a pink taste of deliciousness under my eyes. Um, and I'm just doing that with my finger. I said I'm not a makeup professional. I am not a makeup professional. This is just me giving other people hope um, in what they can do every day. I learned on YouTube... I'm not special at all, um, maybe creative, but not special with the makeup brush or nothing. It's just something that I can do, um, and I can't really do it, so, anyways, <laughs> um, so, on to my face. I already have that lotion on my eyebrows, and, um, now it is time for me to put on these puppies. Um, I said that this one is chestnut. And this one is like cocoa, cocoa, C8 to be back. So I'm going to use this one as a, oh my god, I almost knocked over my computer. This thing is brand new, and you know how I am with electronics. We cannot afford this to happen. Oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. How did I have you propped up, boo boo? Woo! That was a hectic moment. Anyways, I don't really like these, but I don't feel like using anything else. I usually use those wedges on, like, um, liquid foundations. I only took a little bit of this. That doesn't look like a little bit, but I only took, a, I only intend to use and take a little bit of it. And let's get all up close to my blemishes and all the problems with my face. Let's start here because it's bothering me and it's looking all gross. And I'm just taking the shine off of it. I'm not trying to blend any colors. Um, I'm just taking the shine off of it. And I told you, like, I only... Like, I mix my makeup because it is impossible to find your... Some people might get lucky and find their color and not have to do all this, but I can't find my color nowhere for the life of me. And down my T-zone we go with this again. Um, not trying to use a lot. Just dabbing a little across my T-zone because that is clearly not my color. Look, that is not my color, right? And it's true blend, and they say you can blend this to death. Yeah, you can blend it, but then you may as well not be wearing anything, okay? So I know who is tacky about this. Anyways, I'm going a little bit under my eyes because the eyes are not finished. Um, I just want to get this makeup on first. Anyways, 
here we are. That is like so not my color. If you can see this, like in real person, you can see that this is not my color. I look like I've got a pancake on. And I hate when people have that line of demarcation, they makeup just stops here. As if we can't see this. I always bring my makeup down. Um, but we aren't even there yet. So I'm just gonna blend this in a little bit. Um, uh, from my T zone, just kinda pulling the makeup around. Go around the contours of my face. Alright, that's looking so much better. I look so much better. Um bring it down a little bit. This looks so much better. Thank God, praise the Lord, hallelujah. Now we're going to use this, which actually is more my color than anything. I don't believe any powder or liquid is ever going to be your color, because first of all, it's going to look matte, and you are not a matte color. Second of all, it's tacky. Um, I don't know. And I use very little of this. Like, oop, oop. Look. That, I didn't even press that hard. That just came off, okay? Um, and I'm only going to go around my, like, eyes real careful. This is how I blend my colors, okay? I'm not saying that this is how everyone has to put on their makeup. Up over here, up over here. Alright, and now I'm going in, going hard, over here. Cool! We are at seven minutes, and I'm still putting on my face. It does not take me this long, by the way. Um, I'm only doing this because I have to explain every damn thing I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, so I didn't even blend that well. Um, the reason being because I intend to mix it wherever my brush is. Ah, here we go. This brush. Um, not my favorite brush. I told you my brushes are missing. This is just one I happen to have. My hands are dry. This is one I happen to have. And I'm just going to go in circles around my face. Um, and that will blend a lot better. Bring it down here, bring it down here, and up. Cross the nose, cross the nose, forehead time, right in here, and that just made it blend really nicely, and that is as close to my color as I will ever get. Um, trust, this is after, I used to mix my mom's makeup, my mom is very fair, my mom is extremely fair, um, I don't even know where her makeup is to show you how fair she is, she's extremely fair, she's like a good six shades lighter than I am, like my mom looks white, um, she a red bone, and I used to mix her makeup with mine and a little bit of bronzer, which I'm about to do, um, to achieve a decent looking color. And actually, in the winter, I can wear her makeup sometimes, and like you cannot tell, and I don't look like cake face. Anyways, um, so real quick, you can use any decent bronzer. This is just something my mom had. Look, that shit's from Myers. And it's actually for your eyes. But I like how it's kind of goldish. And I have golden tints to my skin tone. So I only use a little bit of that. Um, and actually that's almost too much. I'm gonna tap it on the side of the skin here. Yeah, that's almost too much. And blow it a little. Because that's like, okay, there we go. And then I'm just going to start the cheek, pin down here, mix. Um, I put bronzer all over my face. I know people just put down their cheeks. I'm trying to look one color. I'm not trying to look bronze. I'm trying to look a normal, natural looking color. And that's all you needed there. And that is actually coming out pretty well, pretty decent. My computer's moving all over the place. Okay, so I'm going to be back in a minute with the rest of my makeup and how I'm getting myself together this morning. So this is part two ending, going to part three. Can't believe this is taking so long. What the fuck? Okay, bye.